Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everything's going well. Listen, I'm going to ask you guys, please, if uh, you get anything out of my videos, please like and subscribe. It takes time to, out of my day that I don't have to do this. I'm just trying to help you guys, and if nobody's getting anything out of it, then I'm not going to continue doing it. But uh, I just wanted to give you a trade update today. Now, you guys seen this morning that the CAD JPY, it's already hit the target right down there now it's just kind of went back up and kind of consolidating again we see we've got some canadian news coming out tomorrow but we've already hit our target on this one that canadian news if it's bad it's going to continue on down if it's good it may go back up towards the red line on the retracement if i was y'all i'd be watching news and just for your uh, learning, go over to for, uh, forexfactory.com and start looking at some news. And when those red folder news has come out, you know, that'll tell you what time. Then just watch watch the candles on the four-hour charts and, and you'll see some action if uh, it's uh, hard-hitting uh, market-moving news. Okay, so that's that one, ladies and gentlemen. That's, uh, you know, we already hit our target on that last night. Now, I'm going to come back over here. And we're going to go to the AUD JPY four hour chart. Remember last night we went way down in the profit and we're still, we're a little closer now than we was. But earlier today it, it come real close to hitting, didn't it? But uh, we're going to, we're going to hit it tonight, hopefully. And, um, I don't I haven't looked at the news but I don't think we've got any kind of news coming out of Australia or Japan so we should continue the trend downward unless something happens uh, about war or something like that we should uh hopefully we'll hit this uh we'll wake up in the morning and we'll have us another target hit and we'll have two good trades now the third trade is not Remember this morning I said I'd probably be tempted to exit that one because all that consolidation right there and you see it's kind of creeping up towards a stop loss But it don't matter. It'll be such a small loss because it got a tight now We could move that stop loss up Above right there and then get that level, you know, and I think that's what we're going to do Just to show y'all how this works because if I don't, we're looking at hitting the stop tomorrow. The only thing that I'm thinking is we got some Canadian news coming out tomorrow. Now, we really need to go look on Forex Factory and see what they're expecting that news to, to be. So, let's do that real quick. Because if they're expecting that news to move in favor of Canada and push that up into our stop loss then there's no reason to raise it up because we're just going to lose more money. You see what I'm saying? So let's run over real quick. Forex Factory. Y'all see what I'm doing though? Let's see. Bear with me for a minute. Forex Factory. I got so many processes going on this old little old laptop here. Yep. All right, now we're going to come over here to the calendar. Let's just look up here and see what's going on. We got the euros down, three pips. Uh, let's see, what is this? Six hours. Dang, the euros only moved three pips. Zero pips on GBP. Ooh, negative 28. Boy, the old, the old yen's on the move, or the dollar, something happened to the dollar. What in the dollar, because we're, we're doing good on this one, and doing good on this one, and doing good on that one, on the dollar. The dollar's doing good today, I can see. I'm just now coming in, ladies and gentlemen. The dollar's doing good today, so we could probably go look at the DXY real quick, and, and see that the dollar, matter of fact... If y'all don't mind real quick, I'm probably going to lock my computer up here. But we're going to, y'all remind me now. Y'all remind me to come back over there. They said, remind you, how we're going to remind you. 
That's what I was wondering. Trading view. We're going to go look at the DXY real quick. Dun, dun, dun. And then we're going to go back on the Forex Factory. And what are we going to do at Forex Factory? We're going to look and see if, uh, what, what they're expecting on that Canadian news. I'm glad y'all reminded me of this stuff because I'm going to tell you what. I bet that old DXY is going to be looking good, better. And we're going to put DXY dollar strength. Now, y'all know over here now, you, you need to be picking your broker. And if you don't have a broker, then pick the same, same one every time. Because different brokers have different fees and it's going to affect where your charting is at. Well... No DXY still coming down. It's, it's 103, but hmm. Well, that's uh, strange. We got the DXY coming down, but we got the dollar strength going up on the currency pairs. So we're going to have to try to figure that out, but not right now. Right now, we're just going to do a simple analysis, but y'all kind of see where I'm going. U.S. banking system and confidence crisis. Investors are increasing seeking safe havens with zero counterparties yeah yeah Z, uh, u.s banking system in a confidence crisis yeah i understand i understand this whole place is going to be a confidence crisis before long they don't get rid of some of this corruption it's horrible all right ladies and gentlemen let's go down here and look I think today was a uh, Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday, and yes, we got some Canadian news coming out tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's Tuesday. Yep. We got some uh, Euro news coming out tomorrow tonight. Okay, but let's look at this Canadian news. We got CPI on me. Yeah, we got to, okay, let's go over here and look at our numbers. You can look, forecast and previous. Okay, we're going to come back down to connect, forecast and previous. So, we got a point five forecast and uh, the previous was point five. Uh, 4.8 forecast and the previous was 5.0. Y'all seeing? I'm, I'm trying. I'm sorry for getting this off. 4.9 and 5.1. Now then, it's not. We got to go back over this folder now, right here on these numbers and see 4.9 and see what it tells us. It says changing the price of goods and services purchased by consumers, excluding the most volatile 40% of items. Actual greater than forecast is good. Okay, so they're expecting a lower than forecast. The forecast, remember, oh, let me see if I can close this again, dead gummit. Okay. So they said greater than forecast is good, and they've got a lower than forecast. Because remember, I think the forecast was right up here. So let's go back up and look real quick. Yep, forecast, and then the previous. Okay, so it's forecast first and then previous. All right, so they're forecasting a lower number. Okay, and right here on this medium, we're going to look at it and see if it's the same. Because that's a lower number. Change in the medium price of goods and services purchased by consumer. Actual greater than forecast is good. Greater than forecast, okay. They're looking at lower, okay. Okay, and then CPI is the same. But I think that one, let's look at it and just see what it says. It says actual greater than forecast is good. So that's the same. 
So we got two that's looking lower. So we're going to base this on that. We're going to take a chance. We're going to take a chance. We're going to move or stop. It's not really, uh, I wouldn't do this. Yeah, but this is just, we're playing around. So let's move this old stop up. I'm going to grab it and we're going to move it up to this next level right there. Now, now you see what I'm doing now. I'm decreasing the amount of money we're going, we're possibly getting this. This is not, you know, remember this morning I told y'all, uh, normally I'd probably went ahead and got out. This is not a good thing I'm doing. I shouldn't even be showing y'all this, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to check it out and see what happens. Now, if that Canadian news, it's probably going to consolidate tonight until tomorrow when that Canadian news comes out. If it's lower than expected or if it's uh, the lower numbers that are expected, we can, we can uh, just about guarantee we're going to continue our downtrend and we'll start heading towards our lower target area, okay? So those are red folders, high impact news. That's how we're going to read the news. I showed y'all how to do it over there on Forex Factory. It even tells you greater numbers are better than expected. So you see though what I just did? I just moved our stop up to that next level above it. Now if it does go up in here to stop, we're going to lose, uh, you know, a good bit of money. But, uh, you know, that's just how you trade. You know, still, we're, we're, we're at a greater risk to reward. I don't like doing this, but uh, I've got a feeling since uh, the news is expecting it to be lower, we're going to go with it and see what happens. What do y'all think? All right, y'all agree? All right. I mean, we could leave it up there where it was. We might come back in the morning, and it never did go no higher than that. But, you know, it could shoot up tonight and hit or stop, but I don't think so. I think we're going to wake up in the morning. It's going to be about where it's at right now. You see, it's been in some heavy consolidation. It did kind of creep up a little bit. I think some people are uh, maybe uh, some newbies are getting into some buy situations, and it's pushed the market up a little bit, and they're maybe expecting a... Uh, something uh, to go up and they're already getting into bias positions but you know what we'll see tomorrow okay you know I don't really like that I'm gonna be honest with you. We're, we're gonna we're gonna compromise with this it might be a mistake doing that if I move it down too low when it goes up guess what we're out of there anyway but I want to give it a chance but I don't want to lose a lot. So we're going to move it down there. Mm. That's a little better. I'm going to move it up just a little bit. Right there. That's, we'll adjust it in the morning if we're not stopped out. That's a little better. If we do make it, if we do make it, we might even uh, move our take profit down a little bit. But, you know, we'll just see how she goes. Uh, you know, you can set up trip alerts. We could set a trip alert up right right below that red line. And a trip alert will send you a notification to your phone. So you'll hear a ding, 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 ding. And then you can actually go and uh, check. And it gives you time to make a decision on whether if you want to allow the trade to close. Or if some news come out, you can find out. It gives you some time. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. Please like and describe, uh, subscribe if it did. God bless you, and this is CC out. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.